हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू माई सेल्फ सुनील एस सोनिग्रा एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वेरियस पाइप मेथड्स ड्रॉइंग ऑफ पाइपिंग्स वेरियस एलिमेंट्स यूज इन पाइप ड्रॉइंग एंड सम प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्पल्स बेस्ड ऑन पाइप ड्रॉइंग्स द फर्स्ट टॉपिक दैट वील डिस्कस इज पाइप टाइप्स स्टैंडर्ड्स एंड डेजिग्नेशन मेथड्स second topic would cover pipeline symbols as per passing fluid air gas water etc then pipe fitting symbols then pipeline diagram then interpretation of process flow diagram and piping isometrics and pipe schedule chart ducts types and its applications ducts layout so these topics would be covered in present discussion the first is codes and standards what do you mean by piping codes and standards piping codes defines the requirements of design fabrication use of materials tests and inspection of pipes and piping systems and pipe piping standards piping standards define application design and construction rules and requirements for piping components as flanges elbows t's valves etc how many number of pipes flanges elbows are required to connect certain pipelines is defined in piping standards and material of pipe inspection parameters testing methods are used are defined in piping codes we will discuss the methods of drawing various pipelines its interpretation and how to use this codes and standards in the drawings pipe types how many types of pipes are available in the market that we know the first is stainless pipe corrosion resistance pipe pressure pipes sanitary pipes plastic pipes alloy pipes carbon steel pipes seamless steel pipes aluminum pipes concrete pipes chromium pipes pipes and corrugated steel pipes it is also known as csp and many more which are used as a pipe but mainly we will discuss about gi pipes and s stainless ss pipes stainless steel pipes which is widely used in industry standards and designation methods for any pipe the specification of pipe is mainly given by four parameters that is outside diameter wall thickness type of material used and length of the pipe if you want to purchase the pipe from the market we need to use mainly four parameters od wall thickness materials and its length so that is specification of pipe now we will discuss about pipeline symbols as per passing fluid air gas water etc which symbols are used in the pipeline to show which type of fluid is flowing inside that pipe the pipeline symbols as per passing fluid suppose fluid is air then its a symbol is drawn like this a line having arrows in between and arrow shows the direction of flow of air in this symbol air is flowing from left side to right side the second symbol which is used for arrow for showing air is writing a in between the line this is an line and a is written it means that the air is flowing in the inside this pipeline to show the gas flow it is drawn like this if dotted line is drawn in a pipe it means that the gas is flowing inside that pipe in sometimes the name of gas is also written over here it may be ammonia nitrogen oxygen hydrogen carbon dioxide carbon monoxide or whatever now oil how to represent oil passing through inside a pipeline it is shown like this long days short days is long days small days is 
in some cases name of oil is also written it may be crude oil or it may be petrol diesel kerosene gasoline or any cold water to represent that the cold water is passing through the pipeline just a thick line is drawn simple thick line it it means that the cold water is passing through the pipeline next symbol is to draw hot water if hot water is passing through a pipeline it is shown like this by center line dash dot dash dot and so on if this symbol is drawn it means that a hot water is passing through that pipe if vacuum is there inside the pipeline means no air no gas or no any fluid then solid dots are put over here in a straight line at certain distance at equidistant all are put at equidistant it means that inside this pipeline vacuum is there steam is passing through the pipeline a thin line is drawn in the previous case we seen uh, cold water in cold water thick line is there in steam thin line is there in some cases steam properties are mentioned over here say in terms of pressure or transfraction or its temperature to show condensate which is passing inside the pipeline dotted line is drawn or dashed line is drawn it means that condensate is passing through that pipeline and to represent that some refrigerant is passing through the pipeline we draw this kind of symbol plus plus it means that some refrigerant is passing through inside the pipeline which happens in ca in case of refrigeration and air conditioning circuits say vcr circuit or vr circuit this kind of symbols would be used to show some other fluids like fire line we use this kind of symbol in case of fire line capital f is written intermittently like this this f this f this in some cases arrows are shown to indicate the direction of flow this is the general symbol for fluid flow just a line when non intersecting non intersecting fluid is passing in those cases this kind of small lines are drawn intermediately at certain distance on a big line like this one long line and some small lines it indicates non intersect secting fluid flow now pipe fitting symbols the fitting symbols which are used in piping that we are going to discuss in subsequent discussion some pipe fitting symbols suppose joint is there two pipes are joined with a simple joint then it is shown by this symbol it means that two pipes are joined like this if they are joined with a flange it is shown like this two lines are there if they are screwed means threads are there then one line is drawn we know what is flange and screw flange means two expanded portions are there with the expansion the pipelines are joined and screwed means threads are there to join two pipes to draw symbol of elbow of 90 degree its symbol is drawn like this 90 degree elbow and if it is a flanged joint two lines are drawn like this and if it is a screwed joint one line is drawn at two places to indicate elbow of 90 degree angle 90 degree elbow is used to connect two pipes which are at right angle to each other now elbow of 45 degree is also used and the symbol is like this two lines which meets at an angle of 45 degree and if it is a flange two lines are drawn if it is a screwed one line is drawn so when two pipes are at an angle of 45 degree and we have to we need to connect these two pipes elbow 45 degree is used next reducer reducer is used to reduce the diameter of pipe and its symbol is drawn like this an arrow or triangle with two lines two vertical lines vertical two lines indicate its flange connection and this triangle represents its reducer means diameter 
is reducing from this side to this side. If this reducer is screwed to the pipeline, it is shown like this triangle with one line. It is a screwed connection. For eccentric reducer, the symbol is drawn like this. Symbol of eccentric reducer is like this. In examination, you will have to draw these symbols. It may be flange or it may be screw. If it is asked that draw eccentric reducer, you have to draw this symbol. Draw a line, triangle and two lines on both the sides to indicate that it is a flanged joint. In case of screwed joint, eccentric reducer is drawn like this. One line is there instead of two lines. Here two lines are there, here one line is there which shows it is a screwed joint. To join T, it is shown by a symbol like this. If flange T is there, two lines are drawn and if it is a screwed joint, then one line is drawn at each end of shown T symbol. Now next symbol that is cross. If two pipelines cross each other, it is shown like this. Cross means they may be at certain angle. Here in this case they are at a right angle and they are joined with flange coupling. So two lines are drawn at each end, each, at each end and if they are screwed then one line is drawn at each end. To represent gate valve the symbol is drawn like this. This is the symbol to show gate valve. Valve is used to stop or to allow the flow of fluid inside the pipeline. The, we may close this flow, this valve to interrupt this flow. With the help of valve, we can reduce or we can increase the rate of flow. If this gate valve is flanged, in this, that case two lines are drawn at the end and if this gate valve is uh, screwed, two lines are not drawn, this two line and just this symbol is drawn. Then angle gate valve is drawn like this vertical line, horizontal line and two valves and if it is a screwed, these two lines are trimmed. If it is a flange, two lines are drawn over here. This is the symbol to draw angle gate valve. The next globe valve. How to draw globe valve in drawing? This is the symbol to draw globe valve. This is for flange connection and this is for screwed connection. Angle globe valve is to be drawn like this. This angle may be 90 degree or may any. Two lines drawn over here indicates that this angle globe valve is connected with flanges and if they are connected with screwed, two lines are trimmed, not drawn. Then next symbol is stroke, stock valve. Stock valve is drawn like this. This is the symbol to show it is a stock valve. In pipeline diagram, Stroke valve is not written, just this symbol is drawn. So we have to interpret that here stroke valve is put. If it is a flange coupled, two lines are there and if it is coupled with screwed, then one line is drawn at the ends. Now some more symbols, 13 number symbol is safety valve. Safety valve is used in the pipeline to have safety of the pipeline like this. This is the symbol to show safety valve it's a flange connection so two lines are here and in case of screwed connection lines are removed so this is the symbol to draw safety valve having screwed connection to show expansion valve this symbol is used a rectangle and flanges two flanges are there if it is a screwed connection then no flanges just a rectangle this symbol indicates it is an expansion valve or fluid get expanded inside this valve. So pressure will reduce hence this space is provided over here to indicate that the pressure reduces and expansion occurs. Then next is union. Union of flange is drawn like this. As it is a flange coupled two lines are there in between over here and if it is a screwed two lines are drawn like this. One line, small line is in between and two lines to outside means it is a flange union and in case of screwed union, this symbol is used. Means vertical line in between, longer line and two small lines on both the sides. 
next pipe sing piping symbol that is lateral connection if lateral connection is there it is shown like this they are at certain angle flanged so two lines are there at each end and in case of screwed connection one lines one line is drawn at each end in check valve it is drawn like this end and ends so this show check valve and having flange connection and in case of screwed connection these end lines are trimmed so this is screwed connection now to draw reducing flange reducing flange means reduction in area cross sectional area or flow area and flange connection is there it is shown like this just a triangle or arrow not filled and two lines both the sides to show that it's a flange coupling and to show that it's a screwed coupling two lines are trimmed out so this is the symbol to show reducing flange with screwed connection now next topic for today's discussion is pipeline diagram what is pipeline diagram how to represent in the diagram and what are the norms and in drawing how to interpret various types of uh, connections it may be elbow it may be t or reducing valve or safety valve or expansion valve whatever this is the diagram pipeline diagram suppose we are given just this diagram in industry this diagram is used and we have to interpret the meaning of this diagram because in a drawing it's not always written name of each joint name of each valve just symbol is used so this is the first symbol this is the symbol of elbow 90 degree two lines are here so it means that here elbow of 90 degree should be used having flange coupled here screw coupling is not there flange coupling is there then this symbol indicates joint these two pipes are joined over here with which coupling yes two lines are there so they are joined with flange coupling 